All right, uh, what's up everyone? So today, finally, I managed to um, film stuff which I promised for a long time, uh, a long time ago. So it's like about the white color thing which had to be soon on uh, color of uniforms which Russian army used for uh, uh, probably for entire uh, 20th century and uh, for now it will be VSR uh, 93 uniform and we will check uh, how it's had to be done uh, on example of this uniform so uh, the jacket is a 60 and 6 size and the pants uh, I have are uh, 58 and 6 I guess so it's smaller uh, in my case uh, it's only thing I can do and uh, to fit perfectly I had to separate the color thing looks like this it was issued uh, during the conscription to conscripts uh, normally it was uh, normal to supply twice a month two of such colors for a conscript uh, and not sure uh, it was different for contractors uh, I guess they just bought it I can't remember exactly but uh, during my service uh, on the ground check you had to have only such color because uh, having thicker ones was kind of uh, against the rules so I will uh, show it closer and we'll explain how it had to be done let's check it out all right so sadly it's the only way how I can uh, show you because it's impossible to do closer so we have color it's ironed on a kind of a summer variation of ver uh, when you have two buttons open like or at least one button one button yeah uh, uh, naval infantry airborne uh, during the some parades or or such they sometimes iron uniforms like like these two buttons but here like uh, it will be closed on the second button and the first upper button will be kind of ironed so it's called summer variation of iron ironing or something I don't know so we put the uniform like that we have this uh, color issued color uh, and we put it like this there are some rules and uh, things you had to follow like for example so as we see uh, this stuff is too long here uh, and normally the uh, color had to be uh, some specific length here we have seams uh, here or I don't know yeah it called seam so uh, until here uh, normally uh, the color had to uh, end somewhere on this line and symmetrically uh, until here so we had to uh, make this color shorter there are two ways we can cut it and uh, also we can Mm, kind of bend it and sew it like sew it like this so we need shorter one so according to it's too long and it's a little bit different comparing to um, things we had issued in my unit uh, here we have uh, the entire kind of color string uh, suit here so it's like stitched or sewed here uh, so you are unable to uh, roll it inside and uh, uh, bend it inside uh, I can show it normally to explain because I need the those uh, stuff which I had to explain you so I just will cut it all right I had some fucking lame scissors so uh, I have pretty shitty cut here but anyways uh, still can do it normally and it should be looking like this 
I'm just bending inside uh, the color itself probably even more just had to know the exact measurement uh, like this to make a proper soon color it's not easy last time I did it uh, over three years ago just to show on a, in a different video uh, just for video normally last time I did it in uh, during my service so we begin here uh, one more thing the uh, I don't know the steam or I don't know how a needle needle yeah so the needle had to have a single uh, string or I don't know how uh, yeah probably it sounds like string so uh, we need to make a um, we need to bound it here so we do like this uh, like standard army thing like we've been told there we, you just trying to roll it by your fingers and then do such uh, stuff on just only one side of stream only one side then we take the needle and go from uh, inner side of the color here trying to start from the edge so uh, we starting uh, to stitch uh, and it had to be looking like this I'm trying to show the uh, style of stitching it had to be uh, one string only and we just put the uh, string on the first stitch and stitches had to be like pretty big no one sews with a small stitches here because we have kind of rule that we have rule that in the upper part uh, it had to be 12 stitches and in the bottom part of the color it had to be six stitches but in some units it can vary and uh, uh, some conscripts soon like six in upper part and uh, six in bottom part some did uh, 12 up and 12 uh, bottom so i don't know in my unit it was uh, 12 up and bottom was six stitches and trying to avoid bounding of a string on each uh, stitch not easy <sighs> so we do it stitch by stitch I don't know how it will turn uh, probably it will look pretty lame because I not doing it for years already but I still remember that shit and actually it was pretty hatred uh, procedure in uh, military among military no one likes to do that but normally you had to do it uh, each evening to have a perfectly clear uh, I don't know fresh color and in each morning check because we have kind of special uh, procedure on a, on a kind of day schedule of each soldier before going ground check you have a morning check where you had to be fresh and kind of with everything ironed and ready to go to ground check and service to have a perfect look I don't know something like that I think uh, everyone in army have that when sergeants check soldiers and sar sergeants also had to have absolutely perfect look and a proper uh, correct uniforms uh, belts buckles I don't know the boots 
clean and shiny and of course in our army we had to have fresh color until some time So, uh, I just close to uh, the edge of the kind of opposing edge of the color, and uh, we will see how it turns. It turns like more or less okay. So, then we reached this edge, so now we do one stitch down here like to this edge but not through entire color we're taking out the string here and making a small stitch backwards kind of backwards I don't know how to explain it but many people not understand the, the concept of uh, stitching how it had to be done because the bigger part of stitch are here on the color and the smaller parts of stitch uh, going uh, somewhere here they are spotable like small small points or dots uh, of white string it's barely visible from even uh, half meter distance because it's thin string and I don't know so we go in uh, bigger, bigger stitches on the lower part on the bottom part of color while service whatever it is uh, watch or I don't know not sure I know the correct words like you know the uh, fire petrol or any any other kind of petrols or uh, daily uh, duty in the barracks uh, not sure uh, how it translates in English but any army have a such kind of duty uh, the kind of shift uh, who watching about everything in the barracks you know, they also prepare uh, their duty and they had to have this stuff fresh and soon recently before going. So when we finished uh, on this edge, we kind of going through bottom and return it to the first uh, point where we installed the needle, and then we finish in here like this, and then we had to bound the mm, string here. It's it's done like this. I don't know how to explain it, but we had to uh, bound. So we have a needle, then we put some, I don't know, sorry, don't, don't know the correct words for that, but we need to just bound it here. So it's finished, then we can just do like this, and it's ready. So, mm, sadly I have on the GoPro, and the GoPro have not the best optics but let's count the stitches so uh, not unexpectedly i'm not tried to but i really uh, made 12 upper or uh, on the upper part i really did 12 fucking stitches i i not expected that and uh, and automatically really i didn't know what the fuck but i did as it should be six at the bottom I don't know it's probably comes with uh, years uh, at the moment I really mm, not even tried to do it for three years and the last time I did it I did it also for video well mm, it's probably when you surf it's turned into something automatic for you uh, anyways it's ready let's try it I hope it won't look lame. 
Uh, all right, so uh, I'm just taking off the uniform, uh, as I said, and the, uh, my suit itself made of um, different size top and bottom. So I made it to wear tucked in uh, pants. So. Uh, all right, so I uh, just took it on. It's actually pretty tight to me because uh, uniform can uh, go size down after being uh, washed. So I'm just trying to show how it looks. So that's it. Uh, all right, uh, I hope it was useful. You see my uniform on me. Uh, probably uh, it, wa it was not so accurate or good. Probably it was uh, not so uh, perfectly visible on this camera, but uh, watching on myself through uh, the phone, it seems it, it turned okay. Uh, so I will post some pictures also and uh, I hope it was useful first of all it was useful uh, I remember how to do it and uh, I will help you with advices if you will contact me through Facebook or any other uh, related chats groups whatever uh, because I have telegram other stuff I hope everyone who was waiting for this video uh, is glad and will find how to sue it uh, and if you will have a questions uh, don't hesitate to ask and I will help with advices and explanations so uh, thanks for watching bye